You might have heard of dual cure materials. They're a core part of carbon's digital light synthesis 3D printing technology. To explain what dual cure materials are, I have with me Senior Vice President of Materials at Carbon, Jason Rowland. Jason, great to have you on. Hey, John. So what is a dual cure material, Jason? So dual cure material really just simply means there's two different mechanisms occurring um, to form a polymer. So we have light curable monomers that connect together to form polymer chains. Um, but we also have thermally curable monomers that can do the same thing, but in a different way. So they can connect together to form different types of polymer chains. And what a dual cure material means is simply we have both in the same resin. And so what happens in printing a dual cure material? How does that work? What's the process? Our printer is based on pattern UV light. So when the resin is uh, exposed to UV light, it begins to polymerize that um, UV sensitive component of the formulation. So that's how you define the shape of the part that you're printing. In our dual cure material process, we have a bake step where we then take the parts after they're done printing and then you put it into an oven and then you kick off this thermally sensitive chemistry where you form an entirely separate molecular network within that already uh, printed scaffold that you've made. So what's the advantage of dual cure materials? Yeah, it's a great question. So what the dual cure networks allow you to do is to take new chemistries, new types of polymers, and be able to use them uh, to make parts in our 3D printer, specifically in materials that have very demanding mechanical properties. You can think of it like you can buy a two-part epoxy uh, adhesive from the hardware store. That alone is not compatible with a UV curable 3D printer because it doesn't have the UV curable chemistry, but it does have interesting properties once it's thermally cured. And so you could take that two-part epoxy, blend it with a UV curable component of your formulation, and now you have something interesting that you can first UV print to form a given shape of a part and then activate that thermally curable network in an oven, in this case, that epoxy network. And the resulting part is going to have very different properties than if you were to just have the UV curable material alone. It really just gives us a broader space of formulation in which we can uh, work to, to generate resins to solve specific problems. So Carbon offers 11 different materials that we've formulated in-house. Um, they're all your babies. Do you have a favorite? Um, if I had to pick one, and I'm probably going to offend some people here, but um, I, I really like our elastomers. That was sort of the, the very first area that we worked on uh, with dual cure materials, and it really just opened up such a different property space. Um, which ultimately resulted in our, our partnerships with Adidas and Riddell. Um, I think we have equally compelling materials in the, um, the rigid and um, high temperature space as well. Great. Well, viewers can learn about all of our 11 in-house materials as well as our wide range of third-party materials for digital light synthesis at carbon3d.com. Jason Rollin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks a lot, John.